So a busy day in the fish room. Supposed to be a big storm coming in Southern California tonight, tomorrow, next day. So I did a 50% water change on this tank and it's got peppered quarries in it. And I did a 50% water change on this tank and it's got false julies in it. And there's a big fat one right there just chowing down on some frozen brine shrimp. And then a 50% water change in this tank with bronze quarries in it. Um, see if we can maybe uh, cause them, spur them to whatever, uh, to, to spawn sometime in the next couple of days uh, with, with the change in the weather. And then this tank I showed earlier, this tank just really had a rough time. I mean, serious algae bloom cyanobacteria. Uh, I lost fish in it. I found four orange shrimp in it and two out of four autocyclists. Uh, I lost a curbensis in it. The female survived. I took her out, uh, put her in another tank with all the baby or juvenile albino uh, curbensis. And then uh, what else? There were four clown, little clown plecos that I bought and they didn't last a week in here, which just blew me away. Uh, somebody suggested water parameters. Uh, they were not off. Um, I'm, I'm still not sure why the algae bloom like that. Uh, this is the tank I had that big chunk of manzanita with all the bucephalandra on it, which I put in here. I took it into the, into the laundry room sink and blasted it off. It's still got a lot of this green algae all over it. I dumped some of that brown bottle algae stop whatever in here. We'll see. Uh, I took some of the plants out, put them in here. Now I've had better luck with this. This is uh, just tank water and some hydrogen peroxide. And that often stops and cleans up the algae. Uh, and I've also got some of the, the plants in here with uh, just tank water and hydrogen peroxide. Tank water from a different tank, by the way. Okay. Um, so anyway, so I've rinsed the gravel out, took that out. I'll, and it's you know it's late now so it's after dark so i will clean this tank tomorrow outside assuming it's not dumping rain like it's supposed to um what do we got platy tank starting to see signs of males in here um so there were two um let's see when i bought these there, there he is that's junior with the the black and orange sword tail uh, he was one of the first uh, in a spawn out of the six that I originally bought. And there was one male and five females in that group. Uh, there's the original male, that liar tail. And that's one of the original females, that kind of Dalmatian looking. Uh, what else? We've got, I, I took five little platies out and put them in this tank just because it needed something. And it was kind of a little farm tank for this, uh, uh, this sword, this... Uh, I don't remember which one it is, Econodor or something or other. Uh, it's kind of a, a oval bronze leaf, it's pretty. And a little bit of Sagittaria subulata in the front. So I just thought I'd throw them in there, make sure, because I'll get mosquitoes in here otherwise if there's no fish in the water. Uh, now we're in the garage. They come in when their doors open and then they, they find a spot to do their duty. These are the juvenile crevences. There's, I don't know, there's gotta be 25 or so they're starting to need a home i'm going to keep a couple but i need a home for these so brandon if you're watching um and then let's go around the corner and then we'll come back um these are the juvenile albino crevences and uh there's a couple of uh stir by quarries in here and some auto sinkless and the two uh two big female adults the uh, one behind and behind the horn, the hornwort, and the other one coming at us here. There they are. Um, so let's see. There's one of the auto sinkless cruising by. There, there's four in this tank. Um, this tank, it's just a uh, hornwort and uh, cherry shrimp. It's a five gallon. It's kind of kind of cool. I just thought I'd play with it. Another five gallon tank. There's a few cherry shrimp in here. Every time I clean the filter on my 16 gallon in the house, it's full of shrimp. So I started throwing them in here to see what comes out. They're all cherry, but just to see how they do. And then this was my crypt farm tank and I took a whole bunch of the crypts out 
and I put them in. I got a video coming pretty soon on this tank. Uh, so a bunch of the crypts are in there. Um, so I've got bronze crypts and green crypts. They're all windy eye. And there were these long slender leafed, and I think they were called Crypt Spiralis. And they are in that 75 gallon that I just kind of gave you a glimpse of. And a bunch of uh, guppy grass floating around in there. And there's uh, shrimp in here. There's uh, some cherries. There's a clear one. Uh, there's a bunch of them that Mexicali, uh, uh, Mexicali Fish Keeper gave me. And uh, also these uh, wild type mollies. And I'm waiting for them. I think I might have gotten a, a baby out of the bunch. But anyway, cool. And the pot's back there. And there are also four little uh, uh, false Julie Corys in here. They're still pretty small. They're getting bigger. And then this tank is uh, uh, Blue Dream Shrimp. And they are everywhere. There's just little bitty ones all over the place. I don't know if you guys can see them with this. You can probably see some of the adults floating around. Um, and I've just been using it as kind of a farm tank. And I actually had this problem with this nasty green algae. And it's like kind of hair-like and it's like steel wool. And and I've had it in, in my tank indoors. And I'm not sure if I got it with... Uh, uh, some Christmas moss I bought from somebody or what, where it showed up. There's, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a little, yeah, try and shoot a little tiny shrimp. He is right in front of my fingertip. Little bitty blue dream. But anyway, this stuff is awful. And the only one I've been able to deal with it in the indoor tank is by literally weeding by hand. So here's some. It's floating in this hydrocotyl, I think it's hydrocotyl Japan. So that's this stuff, really fibrous. And it feels like steel wool. And, and so I just pull it out in wads, um, long, fibrous. That algae stuff in the brown bottle doesn't do anything for it. Um, so anyway, uh, so I've got a, a couple swords in here, some Java fern. Uh, there's a couple of Billy Cardinalis. Um, so it's been kind of a farm tank. There's a couple of, uh, uh, oh gosh, they're a fern, and I can't remember if they're bulbitis. There's one on that rock right back there, and there's another one on this rock right in front there next to that uh, lobelia. And then this tank, some uh, mutt, that's what he called them, uh, Mexicali fish keeper, some mutt guppies. Uh, they spawned, there's a bunch of little ones in there. There was a big female, and after she spawned, she died. Don't know. There's another uh, bigger female in here now too, uh, and lots of them. And I just put uh, two auto sinkless that I saved out of this tank. They are now in this tank. Somewhere hiding in here, there's two plecos. Uh, never see them, they're always just under stuff. Um, but anyway, and then this tank is full of uh, uh, the orange sunkiss shrimp. You can probably see a couple down on the bottom. And then there's Nemo and another uh, sword. These swords, that one and that one, and there's another one somewhere. I, uh, I've i got a big Amazon sword in that 40 gallon I showed you with the bronze quarries, and it shoots up flower spikes. And then on the flower spikes, you get little little plantlets. So I uh, I pop those off and I plant them. So eventually, because otherwise, you know, the, they won't last forever on those spikes. So anyway, that's kind of what's going on out here in the garage. Um, just thought I'd do kind of a quick uh, update. It's been an absolutely spectacular Sunday. Uh, just got to play in the fish room a little bit today, get some stuff done. I'm using, uh, you know, just stirring stuff up. I've got these lights that I bought from uh, Home Depot. They're LED. And I think what I need to do is put some sort of light diffuser over them. Uh, I, they're running about, what was it, eight hours, I think. Um, and I could probably cut them down some, but uh, I think I just need to put some sort of light diffuser because I've got kind of an algae bloom, that, this kind of soft green algae growing over the plants and over the rocks and, you know, so, and I'm always interested to hear what other people think. Got this little uh, uh, all green spider plant that I grabbed from outside and stuck it into one of the plant baskets. And it's obviously rooting really well, it's happy. Um, but I stir up, uh, the tank, do a water change, and then put one of these uh, 
these filters on it just to suck out a lot of the stuff that's, you know, in suspension in the water. It kind of helps. I used to use these things once upon a time. I don't know if you still get them. They're called diatom filters. They were a uh, one quart mason jar with a motor on top and a bag inside. And you put diatomaceous earth in, in the jar and then you seal it up. Uh, and you there's an inlet that goes, uh, how is it? Um, it goes into the outside of the, or you know, the jar outside of that filter bag. And then the water's drawn through the filter bag, the diatomaceous earth covers the filter bag, um, and then the water's drawn through that and pumped out clean. Uh, it works really well. A friend of mine had one, and I used to borrow it from him all the time years ago. I don't know if you can still get those or not. It works pretty well for, you know, just doing a, uh, you know, cleaning a lot of the particulate matter out of the tank. Um, I used to have sub-sand filters, and there'd be so much garbage that would build up under those, I would just stick one end down the um, down one of the up tubes on the sub sand and, uh, and pull a lot of the shit out there. So they work, works nice. So anyway, I just thought I'd share. Hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. Um, I know you guys in Australia, it's already coming up on Tuesday, Australia, New Zealand, the other side of the world. And it's late night, Sunday night, maybe even early Monday morning in Europe and, uh, friends in the UK. Sorry. Anyway, y'all take care. And uh, let me know what you think.